evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the uh, April CHA Pub Night and the 2014 Canadian Hunters Award. Uh, this evening we're uh, Woo! Woo! celebrating the excellence of uh, our fellow hunters. Uh, first thing I'd like to do a few thank yous. First of all, I'd like to thank our judges this year for going through what was 34 entries. There's quite a bit of material for them to go through. Some excellent, excellent work by everyone. Just amazing. <clears throat> so we had uh, Justin Copeland from the Red Scare, Colin Lawton from Scream Shack, Dan Murray from Pirates Cove, Steve Kochi from Sanctuary of a Spook, Mr. Hector Turner from Blackstone Cemetery, Boo. and Rebecca Sennis, Blood Queen Manor. And thank you to our judges again. We had 34 entries, as I say, amazing that participation from coast to coast and the U.S. Um, I don't have the comparison between the entries from last year, but uh, it's amazing. If you haven't had a chance, go down to the CHA website and take a look, because there's some really fine stuff. Um, before we have the awards, I'd like to uh, have a special presentation. Mr. Paul Hopkins, will you step forward, please? <laughs> My turn to embarrass you. <laughs> Paul and uh, his crew at uh, Haunted House Creations are the folks who make these amazing, amazing Haunt Awards. <laughs> truly, truly, one of a, truly one of a kind. And uh, Mr. Hector Turner, I'm going to give you the option of uh, doing the presentation. I think Rebecca has it there, but you step in here, sir. <laughs> Well, I, I was the lucky recipient to, to actually win one of these last year, and, and I got to tell you, it, it you know it's, it's on the shelf in the living room, proudly displayed for everybody to see it. It's, Does it fall apart? No. Lucky ones. It's not a distortion prop. It, 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 it really is a an amazing glue. prop. No, it's <laughs> and uh, it's one of the kind. Nobody else, uh, you know, has it, and it's it's highly sought after. Thank you so, very much. Re it. Really love that. Almost full of cash. <laughs> Close enough. First off, we have a certificate for you that uh, you know just shows a measure of our appreciation. Very nice. And in addition to that, we heard, we heard that you like to eat, so oh, we, 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 we gave you a little gift card there. That you, you, know, <laughs> you can take Kim out and go for dinner. Oh, you thank go. you very much. On behalf of the Canadian Hunters Association, we want to thank Paul and uh, Hot House Creations. They are our sole sponsor for the CHA Awards. It is fantastic. Hooray! Again, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank as well the, uh, the CHA committee uh, for helping this for set up tonight. Rebecca, Hector, Richard, Chris. And now the awards. So the first award this evening will be the category of Best Canadian Yard Haunt. And Mr. Chris Ainsworth will be presenting that. Good evening, everyone. It gives me great pleasure tonight to tell you the nominees and this year's winner for Best Canadian Yard Haunt. And the nominees are The Haunted Wastelands, Creator, Jason Oliver, in Calgary, Alberta. Second is The Realm of Chaos. Creator is Trixie Howell, in Mission, British Columbia. Thirdly, we have Dead Things, sorry, Dead Things and the Hideous Horror on Howell. Pat Molly from Regina, Saskatchewan. Done at Stark Lair. Creator Chris Arnott from Barrie, Ontario. Where's Chris? And lastly, Peaceful Acres, Steve and Gina Smith in Calgary, Alberta. Wow. Excellent. May I have the envelope, please? Wide range. This year's winner is. Jason Oliver, The right. Haunted Wasteland.
I'm Richard Garris, also one of the committee members, and I'm announcing the best international yard hunt. Our nominees are Goathead Hollow. Creator is Brandy Bush from uh, Palmyra, PA, US. Oh, Brandy. So the next nominee is Fright and Falcon Haunted Maze by Dave. Virdavig from Falcon, Colorado, USA. All right. The next one is Shingle Creek Manor, Mark and Belinda Fawcett from Go. Kissimmee, Florida. Go Mark! <laughs> Our last nominee is Village Meyer Yard Haunt, Chris Baker, Chris Baker uh, South Yarmouth, Massachusetts, USA. And the envelope, please. And the winner is Brandy Bush with All the right, Brandy. Go ahead, Hall. Association, I'd like to congratulate you on winning the Best International Haunt for 2014. I present you with this lovely award created by Haunted House Creations in Toronto, Mr. Paul Hopkins and his crew, and there's a certificate to go along with it. Your haunt was amazing, and thank you for uh, participating in the little awards. Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Looking forward to being <laughs> It's not your size, you but you can. Thank you. Thank you guys for Yeah, we can do So I just want to say that, you know, it's an honor to get this award because I think that out of a lot of home haunters, the, the Canadians, I don't know, they, they know it when it comes to details. So for them to be, you know, picking me for this, it means a lot. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, my name is Hector Turner, and it's my distinct pleasure to now announce the, uh, the nominees and the winner for the best Canadian indoor or walkthrough yard uh, haunt. Okay, and the nominees are uh, Frighteners, Barb Ross, London, Ontario. Brad Goodspeed, the Brookshire of Provincetown, Toronto, Ontario. Dwayne Pope and Brandy Joe Awashko, Tunnel of Terror, and they're from Edmonton, Alberta. The Fright Fest group, uh, Fright Fest in Fort Langley, British Columbia. Patrick and Nancy Prue, Haunting on David, and they're from Welland, Ontario. Uh, Pat Molly, Dead Things and the Hideous Horror on How from Regina, Saskatchewan. I got another page. Wow. Uh, Chris Arnott from Dunnett's Dark Clear, Barrie, Ontario. <laughs> Peter DeStefano De from Grim Grounds, Brampton, Ontario. Tim Jordan, Jordan's Haunted House and Halloween Adventure from Richmond, BC. <laughs> Therese Hansel and Hugh Flusher, Rutherford Manor Haunt from Edmonton, Alberta. <laughs> Corey Smith, the Delamore Guest House, York Region, Ontario. <laughs> Vance Vegas, Terror on Exit 10 from Halifax, Nova Scotia. 
And last but not least, uh, Jason Oliver, The Haunted Wastelands from Calgary, Alberta. So that's a lot of entries. I gotta say, it, it, it's really impressive how, how we now have entries coming all across Canada from every region and every province. It's really impressive. Okay, and the envelope, please. And the winner of the best Canadian indoor and walkthrough haunt, Brad Goodspeed, the Berkshire <laughs> Province. Happy to do the haunt with my brother here, and um, hope people like it. And thanks again. Thank you. 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 And for our last award this evening, will be the best animated and static prop. We had 12 entries. Um, we're going to break this out next year, so it'll be an animated single award and static prop award. Uh, this was just so way too many good ones. Too many good ones this year. Way too many good ones. First of all, we have Pat Malloy from uh, Dead Things and Hideous Horrors on How. He had Craven and Crania, an animated Raven and Skull, and he also had an animatronic spell book. Wow, Our next one is Pirates Cove. Dan and Justin Murray, Calgary, Alberta. We had an animated Pirates rowboat. And a puking pirate, always a classic. <laughs> Our next one is Rutherford Manor, Therese Hansel and Hugh Flesher, Edmonton, Alberta. They had the laboratory, lab, that, that's a laboratory control panel, not laboratory. Sorry about that. Uh, That'd be interesting. It was it. Yeah. <laughs> Our next one is a Realm of Chaos, a Trixie Howe, Mission BC. There's a vampirus prop. The next one we have is Peaceful Acres, Steve and Gina Smith from Calgary, Alberta. They had an archway with Gatekeeper. It was all a single piece. Take a look at that, it was beautifully done. We have a Beetlejuice tombstone based on the movie, which again was beautifully done. Uh, our next one, Haunting on David, that was Nancy and Patrick Prue from Welland, Ontario. They had a zombie girl. And our last one, Terror at Exit 10, Vance Vegas. Halifax, Nova Scotia, we had a Half Corpse, the Leper Maidens, and Nurse's Blood Room. Woo! And the envelope, please. And the winner of the best prop this year, Pat Malloy for the Animatronic Spell Book. Just thank you again to everybody who entered. Thanks to the winners. Congratulations to all the winners. We're looking forward to the 2015 CHA Awards. Bigger, better. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great evening. Congratulations again to all the winners. <laughs>